How to tie the carrick bend. So in front of me we've got the two bits of rope in which we want to tie the carrick bend. I'm going to just get rid of the red one for now and the first thing we're going to do is with the yellow one we're going to go round, form a bite and then pass the working end underneath the standing end like so. Now that we've done that we then take the red rope and what we do is just take a little bit of length part way down and pass it underneath that loop that we've created there. Now the next thing that we do is very simple, very easy, is we take the working end of the red one, so there's my working end of the red one, we're going to pass it over the standing end of the yellow one, so pass it over the standing end of the yellow one, then we pass it underneath the working end of the yellow one, and then the next thing we're going to do is pass it over the yellow one there, under the red one at that point, over the yellow one there, so take it over, pass it under the red one, take it over and there we have it, we have now tied one in number carrick bend. Now there are a number of ways of tying the carrick bend and when the two working ends come out opposite each other that is the strongest version of the bend. Now in days of old you would often tie or lash those two ends together and that would form your carrick bend but nowadays you can actually go ahead and pull it up tight in order to create the carrick bend without having to lash it. So there we have it, one in number, carrick bend.